And that, in brief, is how we deal surgically with peptic ulcers which have proved intractable, despite the soothing balms and panaceas of our colleagues, the physicians. So we can now summarize the surgical therapy of peptic ulceration. And I advise you all to take note of this, because it is important. Duncan. What? You going up to see the match tomorrow? What, up to Cambridge? No. Oh. Only I was going to ask you for a lift. That's why I'm not going. Car's bust. What, Esmeralda? Yeah. She's got a cracked cylinder head. Is that serious? Pretty. I reckon I'll have to flog her, the poor old thing. You're not getting another one? Oh, I would if I had the cash. So you're not driving up tomorrow? No. Oh. You couldn't get the car mended by then, could you? Not with a cracked cylinder head. There you are. Pity. I'd have liked to see our lads play Trinity. Ah, we'll lick them easily. Oh, no, no, they've got some pretty meaty forwards. Oh, so have we. Well, there's other things I'm worried about. Never. Steady as a rock. You and your stupid car. Well, I can't help it if it's clapped out. What's the commonest cause of gastric ulcers? Upton. A cracked cylinder block, sir. <laughs> Nothing, sir. Nothing? If that's all you've learned in the last hour, I've been wasting my time, haven't I? Yes, sir. Uh, no, sir. <laughs> yes. Well, that concludes our review of the stomach. Those of you who've been paying any attention might possibly remember some of the things I've just told you. Right, Collier? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As for you, Upton, I should spend some time tonight with a reliable textbook. Well, that's all, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we'll tackle the large bowel. What about a car? Ho, ho. No, seriously, lads, I heard you talking about it. I've got my eye on a real beauty. Trouble is, I'm just a bit short of the red. <laughs> Aren't we all? No, no, I thought if we all chipped in together, eh? Well, what make is it? Well, I haven't actually seen it yet. Oh, no, 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 nothing is. A mate of mine at Bart's is flogging in cheap. It's in great condition. Runs well, nipping, excuse me. Nice bodywork, lovely finish. How do you know? You haven't seen it. He told me. <laughs> How much? Well, if we split it three ways, ten quid each. Oh, it's a dead slip. Well, are you on for a share of these? But I can't drive. Now's your chance to learn, son. A car of your own. A third of a car? Oh, come on, Mike. What have you got to lose? Ten quid. Look, why don't we all go along and have a look at it anyway? Good man. Now, I suggest we go tomorrow morning. We've got to go tomorrow morning. Oh, we can't. We've got a tutorial with Merrifield. Oh, have we? The trouble is, I don't want to leave it too long, because it'll be snapped up. It's a real bargain. Look, look. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go in the morning and buy it for us, eh? Well, I I'm not sure... Look, that... I won't get it if I don't like the look of it. No, wait a minute. Oh, what? look, come on, Mike. You can trust Uncle Paul. He knows a lot more about cars than you do. Yeah, mind you, that's not difficult. Uh, true, true. <laughs> no, if I do buy it for us, I can pick you up here tomorrow after your tutor and we'll all drive up to Cambridge in the afternoon, right? Right. 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 <laughs> well? Well, what? The money! Oh. oh. Uh. I warn you, it had better be worth it. about this afternoon? We can take you to matinee. Oh, really? Oh, no, we're going to the match. Ah, oh, you're joking. You don't trust Collier, do you? No. No. Oh, anyway, they're infinitely more preferable to nasty old rugby. Come on! I've got it! Oh, dear girl. He's got it! Oh, great! Ah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Right, swing around, swing around. Put it on the ledge. Put it on the ledge, Frank. Yeah. That's it. Right, now. Open the door, Frank. Open the door. That's it now. Catches. Please you with the catches. 
And the other side. That's it, right now. Up. That's it. Right, now then, you see? Fix it with this. No, oh, that don't fit too well. Oh, well. Right, other catch, other catch. That's it. Check it down. That's it. Right, Frank. Time we took a break. <laughs> well, there she is. What do you think of her? It's a hearse. Nice. <laughs> 30 quid for that? Great, isn't it? Oh, come on, we can't go driving in that sort of thing. Why not? A lot of people do. Only when they're dead. <laughs> oh, God. Look in here. It's a, it's a coffin. Must be Collier's warped sense of humour. <laughs> Listen, don't say anything about it to him. Why not? Well, he only put it there for effect, so take no notice. Pretend we haven't seen it. Yeah, that will spoil his little game. <laughs> <laughs> well, all aboard, all aboard. <laughs> Don't blame me. Well, it's not my fault. Look, if it's gone, it's gone. It can't have gone up a walk now, can it? Well, where the hell is it in? What's going on? Oh, Professor Loftus. It appears that a cadaver has been mislaid. You've lost a corpse. That's right, sir. I was supposed to pick up a departed here. Jones of BB, number 1579 stroke G. <laughs> but he's gone and lost it. Now look, I loaded cadaver Jones BB onto your hearse an hour ago. I wasn't there an hour ago. Oh no, you was off down the fox having a quick one, weren't you? <laughs> I put it on before you came back, didn't I? Look, do you want to search the flaming hearse? Now look here, are you quite sure there isn't some mistake? Professor Loftus, you know me. I look after those cadavers like they was my own children. I wouldn't let one go astray. <laughs> you already did. Watch it, mate. Now, this is ridiculous. There must be some perfectly simple explanation. I suggest you ring up your firm and see if somebody else has picked it up. Yeah. And you go back and check your corpses. <laughs> Good heavens, you can't just lose a body. It's a famous scene that's never known to fail. Oh, they are not so good at playing rugby football. But nobody can beat them, sopping who's all sopping. How much further is it? The nearly there. God! You're set in the back. What? I can't see anything. There's a coffin. There's a great coffin. I can't see any coffin. <laughs> Neither can I. Look, if this is your idea of a joke. Our idea of a joke. You birch, what do you want to bring a coffin for? Oh, come on, Paul. We all know who put it there. Who? You. <laughs> didn't you? Of course I didn't. <laughs> of course I didn't. Oh, come on. The joke's over and it didn't work. Admit it. It wasn't me. Honestly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's not the sort of thing you forget, is it? But we thought that... But if you didn't put it there, then who? Uh, how? <laughs> who? <laughs> Stop the hearse! They must have loaded it on back at the hospital. You parked outside the mortuary. Yes, I parked outside the mortuary. You fool. Well, let's get it back before anybody notices. Perhaps we should just bury it. Not don't be stupid.
and explain. Explain? Come on, I don't understand it myself. <laughs> Go faster! <laughs> yeah, we'll give them a race. Let's see what the old bus can do. Anyway, I'd sooner get nicked for speeding than body snatching. <laughs> Tell me the way to Newmarket Cemetery, please, because I'm lost and I'm terribly late for the funeral. And uh, there's another bloke in London, he's dying too. I've got to get back before he goes too. And uh, I haven't even had time to dress properly. And uh, I haven't been an undertaker very long. Anyway, it's a very informal funeral. And uh, I'm telling you, that's it. you could kill someone driving like that. Well, I've got to make a living. <laughs> You're a student, aren't you? Yes, sir. Follow us. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's see what's happening. Have they gone, Paul? Have you gone, Paul? <laughs> Come on. They've nicked him. I suppose he'll come back for us, though, won't he? I suppose so. I bet they'll keep him for hours, though. It shouldn't be too long. Shall we try and find a lift? For three. Well, we'll, we'll wait then, shall we? Yeah. Mm, we better. We better. Oh, we better keep out of sight. Now I'll get wet rot. I suppose you'll find us here, will he? Yeah, yeah. If they let him go. Oh, God. Smoke? No, thanks. Yes. <laughs> Smoke, smoke on the cigarette. They've all gone. Oh, God, it's cold. 
He's not coming, is he? I don't know. They put him in jail, haven't they? I don't know. Well, even if he does come, he won't find us. It's too dark, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> What's that? An owl. <laughs> a cow. It's a jolly funny cow. Well, perhaps it's a bull, then. No, it isn't. Only a ruddy poacher. Oh, that serves him right for looking in other people's coffins. Oh God, close it. What? Close it, close it, close it. Oh. Oh, is he still in there? <coughs> yes. Oh. oh, where the hell's Collier? Only a poacher, he's just fainted. Oh, okay. At last, look, have you got the car? Yes, yes. Well, what yes. happened? Well, I told the police I was on a charity motor rally in aid of national orphans' homes. Well, they couldn't nick me then, could they? Well, aren't they even going to fine you? Yes, 20 quid. <laughs> Payable to the national orphans' homes. I gave them a cheque. Oh. You can pay me later. What? <laughs> Why were you so long? Well, I went to see the match, didn't I? I caught the last five minutes. You bust! Yes! We won! I stopped for a little drinky, you know. You've been all right, haven't you? Yeah, uh, great! No, what's the time? Uh, uh, good Lord, it's half past eleven. Huh. Ten hours? We've been here ten hours! Uh, well, we can't stop wasting time. Let's get old Dracula back where he belongs. Come on! Uh, Come on! I don't think they have any vacancies. <laughs> well, I've witnessed some pretty macabre student pranks in my time, but this is tantamount to desecration. No, don't tell me. I suppose this year's Rag Week theme is black magic, is it? <laughs> right, have we got that? Nobody, sir. Nobody. Nobody. Stuart Clark, Hooley, Brillock. Come on, open it up. (laughs) 
Come on, get out. <laughs> I said, get out. The joke's over and it's not very funny. You've gone too far this time. <laughs> if you are not out within five seconds, you'll be in very serious trouble. It's Stuart Clark, isn't it? And Collier parked it outside the mortuary, and we think they loaded yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know, I know. I shall, I shall have to apologise to the mortuary keeper. I've had him counting all afternoon. <laughs> they did look wrong, didn't they? Yes, yes, sir. I suppose you know you've ruined someone's funeral. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, put it back then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Have you done it? Yes, sir. We've done it, sir. It wasn't really our fault, sir. No, no, I know, I know. It wasn't a very sensible place to park, though, was it? No, sir. No, sir. And you did panic a bit, didn't you? Quite a bit, sir. Well, I can't pretend the Dean won't want an inquiry, but I'll tell him what happened. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. I'll tell him it was, uh, an accident. Is that the right word? Uh, yes, sir. And, uh, accidents will happen, won't they, sir? Yes. And just you make sure they don't happen again. Yes, yes sir. Thank you. Tell Collier that. Yes, sir. He, he's just bringing the hearse round. <laughs> Can we offer you a lift, sir? <laughs> 